Hi folks, I'm going to show you how you can create a multi-page PDF file directly in Lightroom. You start by selecting your images, whether you just control or on a Mac command, click on the individual ones you want, or whether you generate a collection. The advantage of a collection is you can change the sequence of them. So whichever way you do that, I have created a collection, so I click on the collection, and now I'm going to click control A to select them all and then go over to my print menu and I have already created a template here that notice mine is four images across and three down because after all the paper using uh, letter size paper as our default it is rectangular and so uh, it just makes sense to me to have more on the long side of the paper. The Standard directions for this tell you, if we scroll down here, that uh, under printer we wanted to change this to print to a JPEG file. In this particular situation, we're going to change this to printing to a printer. And then we go over to the left side to page setup. The printer we're going to use is the, is the Adobe PDF printer. If you have Acrobat Professional installed, you should have this listed as a printer. If you don't have it, then you're not going to be able to do this. But hopefully you will have Adobe PDF listed under your list of printers. After you've done that, click on Properties and change the default setting here from Standard to High Quality Print. And we don't have to change anything else in here. We want to just make sure we have High Quality Print. And then click OK there. Click OK here. If you want to see how I made my four by three template. I'll show you my settings right here. Uh, if you wanted to simply pause the video and write these down or copy them into Lightroom, you can have the same settings I do. In another video I showed you how to do the extended file information that I'm using here, which I also recommend you do because it provides much more information. But that's in a separate video. So now we're ready to uh, oh, if you want to update a pre-existing um, template, if you right-click on the template name, you can click Update with Current Settings, and that will update your template to the current settings. Now, we simply want to print this. If I click Print, it will open up this dialog, and we're in Adobe PDF. Now, I recommend that you check the properties to make sure that it still says High Quality Print, because even though the template should remember all your settings. I have observed with the Adobe PDF printer that sometimes Lightroom does not remember that you want high quality print. So please check that. Click OK and click OK and another dialog box will open up as we are preparing the print job right now. And another dialog opens up. At this point it's very important that you use the conventions for saving the file that we use in our class. So uh, if it starts with W for week, and then the number of the week, and then A for assignment, and the number of assignment, then underscore and your name, please do that, and please do it in that order. It's very important um, in order to keep organization in the classroom. And also, um, you can save this to your desktop. I recommend not saving stuff to your desktop because it just gets your desktop very cluttered. So instead, I would suggest creating a folder for all of your classwork and then you will have it all in one place. So then click Save. I'm not going to do that on this, but um, it would then save the file, and you'll have a multi-page PDF. Notice that right now I've got, uh, here's a second page of this, and here's a third page, and there's a fourth page of files that are all uh, in this collection of images. I have a total of 44 photos in this collection, and they're all going to be in a single multi-page PDF file. Now the problem with this for the class is that if you are also required to select two images to put on a single sheet, you would not be able to use Lightroom to incorporate that in the same PDF file. But you can include all of the others. That's it for this video. Thank you.